Hello and welcome to Coveo Bite Size Learnings. Today we are talking about options for decorating Coveo Pipeline trigger notifications. Coveo Bite Size Learnings are as short as they are sweet, so let's get started. The custom trigger notifications function is a popular feature of the Coveo Cloud V2 Query Pipeline. Managing notifications is easy. Just log into your org's cloud console, go into your pipelines list, select your pipeline, and drill down into triggers. You can see here that I've created a handful of triggers, each associated with a specific query. The first on the list, which invokes a simple notification, is basic notification. If I go to my search page, which uses this pipeline, and enter this query, I'll see my notification. As that notification suggests, it's possible to style it with CSS. To get started with that, what we can do is inspect this element, and by doing so, we can see that there is a Coveo Framework style class associated with it already. Since this is a very specific style class, it is safe for me to augment it without worrying about potential side effects in other areas of the search. In order to do this, we can edit our page code and simply add a CSS style node with the appropriate class name and whatever changes we want. All I want is for the notification to show up with a green background, so once we save our changes, we can go back into our search, and executing the same query, we see that we now have our lightly styled notification. Our next example, invoked with a query, inline styles, illustrates the fact that we can include inline CSS if we wish. In this case, increasing the font size of one of the words in the notification. Going into the search page and executing that search, we can see that the inline style has been applied. Alongside the background color that is invoked based on the class assigned to the surrounding div by the Coveo JavaScript search framework. You'll notice that we have used single quotes for the style attribute values, and the reason for this is that underlying this user-friendly interface is Query Pipeline Language Code, or QPL, and in this context, the notification message associated with the QPL Notify directive is already wrapped in double quotes, so inserting double quotes inside will cause problems. It is indeed possible to escape your double quotes and get the same results as we saw before, but as of this recording, it is the case that each time you edit your notification, you will need to re-escape the quotes in order to avoid invoking the same problem. For the time being, it is simply easier to use single quotes to avoid problems. So far, we've only been looking at CSS modifications, but other HTML elements work the same way. With our next example, we show that as long as you're using single quotes to wrap your anchor's href attribute, you can insert links into your notifications. Searching for link notification, we see our notification come up, and due to other CSS in the framework, the link does not immediately appear to be there. But if we hover over it, we can see the link highlighting, and of course, we can validate its functionality. Just as with the background color, we could change the link decorations as well, if we wanted. All of these examples have been fairly simple, but of course, you can extrapolate to any level of complexity which fits your environment. For our final example, I've wrapped my notification in a span element and assigned, using single quotes again, a custom class called Modern Blink. Most browsers have eliminated the original Blink Tag's functionality, so we've built something in CSS to accomplish an effect that is sure to attract attention in its place. Going back into my page and editing the code, I'll reinsert my modern Blink class definition, and I'll disable the original modification to get rid of the green background we set up before. Once I've saved my page, I can invoke that notification with the query specified in the notifications condition, modern Blink, and we can see the notification in its full glory. Thank you for watching this edition of Coveo Bite Size Learning. Please share this video with your team and subscribe to the Coveo Insights YouTube channel in order to learn more about keeping your business relevant. For more in-depth training courses, please visit www.coveo.com training.